Today on Toy Shiz, who are you going to call? Let's talk toys. Welcome back everyone, Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another retro shiz look back at the past, and today we're heading all the way back to 1989, 1990s-ish, in around that time frame, for the Kenner, the real Ghostbusters, Goblin, Goblins line. Say that name three times fast, right? The whole basis of the line, cutesy little ghosts, goblins, they just stand there looking at you, creepy-like, and then they change into hideous, horrifying monsters, much like the ghosts and monsters of the real Ghostbusters, especially on the cartoon. So, this is going to be a blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of ectoplasm. This is a look back at the 1989-1990s Kenner's The Real Ghostbusters action figure line, The Goblin Goblins. And the first ghost, well, goblin up on our list is Terrible Teeth. A cute little yellow monster. I guess you could say these things are cute. I don't know. Would you really want to hang out with one looking like this? But minimal articulation, minimal paint. But that's the charm of the old real Ghostbusters line, right? Makes up for it in nice sculpting. Pretty flat bottom. Keeps them nice and steady. But you get to see the teeth. And is a little bit of a smile to him. He's got green paint Purple eyes, unfortunately, a horn has broken off of mine. Eh, it gives a little charm on the shelf too, right? Who cares? But he's got his little tail right here, and that's going to activate the mechanism. There is a mechanism to these things because they don't just stay nice all the time. Because when you flip the switch, his mouth instantly opens, revealing all his terrible teeth. Get it? Right? So opens and closes just like that, or you can maneuver the tail if you'd like. But... He's cool, little compact little monster. And I like the inside of his mouth. You get to see the veins, and you can see 1990 Columbia Pictures Kenner inside. And it is painted well, very simplistic, but it's cool. Nice rubber teeth for the monster, especially when you're putting old Egon in his mouth and chowing down on him. So it works in that sense. It's fun. It's toyetic in the simplest of ways, but he does scale nicely to other real Ghostbusters figures, and that's always nice to see. So while he is a very simplistic goblin goblin, he does have the teeth to make it for your shelf and be a standout feature for your real Ghostbusters collection. And next up for our Goblin Goblins, we have a well, little purple guy, right? What's his deal? This is Nasty Neck. What a name for this guy, right? But you get to see really cool, very creepy looking orange and black eyes, greens, purples, some slime all the way around. He's crouched down too. That seemed to be a real staple for a lot of the Ghostbusters figures. They always kind of were crouching down to really minimize the size. They were larger than they would probably appear if they were fully articulated, but he's got a nice little forked tail to him, and you really can't tell what he's doing. You see a little bit of a green neck going on and everything else. Well, it's all in the name, right? Nasty Neck. And he was on one of those little tubes that you could stretch out or recoil, and it worked for the most part. It's gotten very old over the years, I will tell you that. So we weren't going to go too far with this guy, but you get the gist of it. Goes from little smushed goblin to large green goblin. And the size of these figures are around the size of the real Ghostbusters Egon in that sense. And it is a nice little matchup. Fits in well with the rest of the collection. Of course, you can recoil his neck and he'll obviously be smaller at that point. So he's odd he's different it's definitely one that i've gotten recently for the old collection but he is definitely a very cool goblin goblin which finally brings us to our final terror tongue goblin goblin and this guy actually i got boxed a ways ago right this was the way to get him and i was like yeah usually i like him just open all set unpackaged all that kind of stuff but hey yeah, hey, well, we get a chance to open them up all proper and look at the box for these things. So you got the barcode on the bottom if you want to screen grab that. I don't know, maybe you're in 1990 and you're trying to scan those things. Goblin Goblin's Terror Tongue Action Toy. Love that. You can see the tape has fallen apart too. The box is not in the best of shape, but it is nice and it is very charming. And I love the copy on the box, right? Here's a pleasant little creature that doesn't seem ferocious. And then sure enough, yeah, he turns into a uh, Terror Tongue and eats Egon or something to that degree. So we're going to be pulling tails again to activate features. It looks like change the little creature into giant tongued monster. Heck, yeah. I mean, what else were you expecting, right, for a terror tongue? But the box opened up nice, 
and you have one of the best features of the old Kenner toys, and you got the We Really Do Care. I really wish more companies would put that back into boxes these days, but this action guide was always so much fun. Anytime you got a Kenner toy and you got to look at all the different lines, but for the sake of what we're doing here today, here's all the real Ghostbusters figures, and by 1989, 1990, there was a sure heck of a lot of Ghostbuster figures and vehicles and accessories and ghost traps and goggles and everything under the sun. They had it all. And as a kid, I wanted it all. And now as an adult, I, I mean, yeah, my collection's pretty much complete at this point. But you can see, yeah, he's in this old little plastic bag and the tape has fallen apart and yellowed. So it will be fun to finally open this guy and get him on the shelf. You can see a little cardboard piece is still intact. And I mean, very simplistic is... <laughs> <laughs> Not much to it, but once you have him all undone, yeah, he just looks really cool. Now, I've seen this guy a ton of times, but I've never actually gotten to play with one. And for whatever reason, these ghosts kind of fell to the wayside as well, I feel like. Yeah, it's really nice to just have a new old toy to check out and to do it with you guys. So you can see, again, he's crouched down. He's got a really flat base to him to keep him all steady. He's got a tail, which will operate the whole tongue mechanism, I'm sure, right there. Don't want to go too far. You know, these, these old toys, you got, you got to be really easy. But let's see, you kind of brace him and, yep. <laughs> and the tongue just basically unravels. And that's interesting. But here, let's get him set up again and try it. Yeah, that actually works really well. And I love the painted face underneath. It's creepy. That's weird. That's a weird looking face to it. I was kind of hoping, you know, some of these... Ghosts, some of these Kenner toys often remind you of things you may have seen in the real Ghostbusters. And for the most part, yeah, this guy, I'm sure, takes cues from various monsters and such. Let's see if you can... Oh, you can bring him back just like that. That's cool. I love the look of this. He does look... He, out of all of them, we'll just say, he's like the most, like, cutesy one. He's like schnookums, you know what I mean? <laughs> that kind of thing. But yeah, and kind of pairing him up with the real Ghostbusters, you can see the size as well. And you can do whatever the box says and... Eat Egon or however you want to do it. But again, after all this time being packaged up and finally unleashing them from the box, this is a pretty cool figure. And again, when you undo the tongue and everything else, that's just pretty dang rad. So that's going to wrap it up for my look back at the 1989-1990 Kenner's The Real Ghostbusters Goblin Goblin Lines. A very fun line, very different. And again, to reiterate, ones that were... Pretty much towards, let's say, the tail end of the line. Ones that kind of fell under my radar as a kid. I don't have a lot of memories, to be quite honest with you, in terms of these types of ghosts. But it's fun to make new ones now, especially having them on my toy shelf. But I am curious to know what you guys think about these ghosts. Are they for you? Have you already had them? Do you need to get them now? Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything the real Ghostbusters. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember not to date this video. But I hope you all had a great time watching Ghostbusters Afterlife. I'm on my way right now. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.